Hello everyone, my name is Lucy wish you happiness and prosperity. Editor Lucy would like to welcome you for visiting our channel Health Fitness 1047 and here is the official news dot follow up. Hi Dragon. Donna Kelsey gushes over why son Travis is the perfect match for Taylor Swift Donna Kelsey expressed her thoughts on her son Travis Kelsey's relationship with Taylor Swift during the premiere of Grotesquery in New York City. She described the relationship as kind of interesting and praised both Travis and Taylor, highlighting their kindness and generosity. 2. Travis Kelsey, very charming, in Grotesquery, role says star Nisi Nash Betts Nisi Nash Betts enjoyed working with Travis Kelsey on Ryan Murphy's new series. Grotesquery. She praised Kelsey for being open to feedback and described him as charming and humble during his cameo. Nash Betts appreciated that he sought her advice, asking for her insights on his performance. She noted that the entire cast was excited to have him on set. 3. Former Vanity Fair editor Tina Brown says it's been hard, living without late husband Sir Harry Evans Tina Brown has expressed the difficulty of coping with the loss of her husband, Sir Harry Evans, who passed away four years ago. In his memory, she has established the Sir Harry Evans Global Fellowship in Investigative Journalism. Brown, who was a prominent editor in the 80s, shared that creating this fellowship has helped her manage her grief. To honor Evans and the fellowship, she hosted a dinner in New York City with notable guests, including Hillary Clinton and Salman Rushdie. 4. Victoria Monet confirms she and partner John Gaines broke up almost a year ago. It simply didn't work out. Victoria Monet announced that she has been single for nearly a year following her breakup with John Gaines, with whom she shares a three-year-old daughter, Hazel. In a joint statement, they explained that they had avoided making a formal announcement about their relationship status to keep it private and minimize pain. However, they felt compelled to address false accusations and clarify their situation for their healing process. They confirmed that while they still care for each other, they are no longer a couple. 5. Inside Janet Jackson's Kamala Harris PR Nightmare, Brother Randy controls her career Janet Jackson's recent comments about Kamala Harris's race have sparked controversy, leading some in her circle to express concern that she is relinquishing control to her brother and manager, Randy Jackson. Insiders suggest that Randy's inexperience and influence may have contributed to the public relations crisis following Janet's remarks which were made during an interview where she questioned Harris's racial identity despite her historical significance as the first black and South Asian female vice president. 6. Olivia Nuzzi once dated XMSNBC commentator Keith Olbermann, star reporters Love Life in Focus amid RFK Jr. Sexting scandal New York Magazine reporter Olivia Nuzzi dated former MSNBC anchor Keith Olbermann about a decade ago, when he was 55 and she was 21. Olbermann confirmed the relationship but stated he hasn't spoken to her in the last 10 years and prefers to keep his personal life private. Meanwhile, Robert F. Kennedy Jr. is reportedly considering legal action against Nuzzi who allegedly sent him explicit photos and videos while manipulating him into unblocking her. Kennedy has hired security expert Gavin De Becker to investigate the situation, as he may pursue civil and potentially criminal litigation against Nuzzi. 
Olbermann also previously dated television reporter Katie Turr from 2006 to 2009. 7. Upbeat Dick Van Dyke, 98, jokes he's praying to make it to 99th birthday after skipping Emmy's 2024 Dick Van Dyke. At 98 years old, humorously expressed his hope to reach his 99th birthday on December 13 while being escorted to his car in Malibu. When asked about his birthday plans, he simply said he was just praying that I make it. He acknowledged his age, stating, I'm pretty old, while using a cane. Van Dyke recently skipped the 2024 Emmy Awards, where he was expected to present, raising concerns about his health. He also canceled a planned appearance at the Fan X event. 8. What was Palm Beach socialite linked to Donald Trump Jr.? Doing sitting behind him and fiancé at RNC? Bettina Anderson, a socialite, was spotted sitting behind Donald Trump Jr. and his fiancé, Kimberly Guilfoyle. At the recent Republican National Convention, reports suggest that Don Jr. and Anderson were seen getting cozy over brunch in Palm Beach, sparking gossip. Photos also show them attending a party together in Jupiter, Florida, which Guilfoyle did not attend. Anderson, 37, was dressed in a striking red outfit at the convention and was seen chatting with Don Jr.'s ex-wife, Vanessa Trump, indicating a close friendship between them. 9. Prince Harry wants to fulfill Princess Diana's landmine legacy Prince Harry expressed the significance of the Halo Trust's work in Angola to his late mother, Princess Diana, and emphasized his commitment to continuing her legacy. He recalled walking through a minefield in 2019, mirroring Diana's iconic visit to the same site. Harry noted the changes in his life since then, including becoming a father for the second time and highlighted his concern for future generations living in a world still affected by landmines, which he believes would have deeply troubled his mother. 10. Roni alum Ebony K. Williams gives birth to Miracle, first baby after IVF on Monday. A former star of Real Housewives of New York City announced the birth of her first child, a daughter named Liberty Alexandria Williams, born in August 2024 in New York City. She expressed her deep sense of responsibility for her daughter's well-being and highlighted the privilege and responsibilities that come with her birth. The name Liberty is a tribute to the Statue of Liberty, symbolizing freedom and the legacy of black Americans. The reality TV star described her daughter's arrival as timely and significant. Reflecting on her own journey to motherhood after a challenging pregnancy following an egg retrieval procedure.